Welcome back to the Morning Blend. This special event is the Romp and Rally for Haws. It is a day where people and their pets can come together for a great cause. And there are sure to be a lot of dogs meeting for the first time at the Romp and Rally. So how can you make sure that your pet is behaving properly? Well, Jen Smeya and Leanne Boucher are here to give some tips on proper on-leash introductions. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. So you we're talking too. about on-leash introductions. These are for dogs who just are running free, never really been on a leash? Are they for puppies? What's it, adult dogs? Well, the concept is for, we're talking about on-leash intros <laughs> because, because of our upcoming event on May 6th, okay. the Romp and Rally. So people are going to have their dogs at this event yes. on leash. They have to be on a leash, yes. right? Yes, they do. Okay. This is Floyd, right? This is Floyd. Floyd's yeah. adorable. Floyd <laughs> is Floyd. loving the fake Hello. grass that we have Hello. here Floyd. for this segment. I love it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's talk a little bit. Let's get right to the video because I think a lot of people think that they do the right thing and they're being respectful of their pet and maybe someone else's pet Correct. but they want to make sure that they're doing it properly yes. we're looking at this okay. video yeah. tell us what's going right so me and my co-worker Kirsten we have two hound dogs these dogs have actually met each other before but for the purposes of the video we are circling each other to make sure that the leashes don't get tangled okay. we have both of the dogs bodies loose and then they separate on their own so I think it's a quick replay here so the point is don't stand stationary because that's right. how you're gonna get tangled yes. and that's a problem often dogs will go to sniff each other's you know behind ends and yes. then if you stay stationary you're gonna have a tangled leash right in the center okay so what are we leashes. looking at here so this is actually Floyd and a little five-month-old pup she's a little bit less confident um, you see that she stays stationary as long as he's sniffing her and then as soon as I coax Floyd away and interrupt that she bounces back oh, for yeah. more oh yeah so then she's like I'm all in yeah, playing exactly. hard to get yeah. Come back here. she's yeah. a little bit unsure her weight is distributed <laughs> back um, but as soon as we said okay Floyd that's enough she's like never mind I my confidence Research. And that's a good okay. way to see if the dog who's a little more timid yes. is in, is into yes. the introduction is to maybe remove the other pet for a little bit and see if yes okay yes yep Short got and it sweet about three second intros okay. so. so now this is that same puppy you saw before and another puppy we've got loose bodies we've got facial sniffing no um, does the tail yeah. wagging mean I'm into this yeah it can be but tail wags are quite misleading people just think wagging tail equals happy Means dog happy. Yeah. yeah we look at the looseness of the body so I've seen. Uh, Dogs oh. whose, whose bodies are very stiff and the tail is wagging, but that's an indicator of arousal, adrenaline. Oh, interesting. You want to look at those loose hips and okay. kind of a more wiggly animal. Okay. So, so. stiff body, but um, uh, like wiggling a vibrating, tail. Wag wagging that's tail. A, a sign of stress it, it more can, than. It can be arousal. So you can okay. have a very forward, frontal, leaning dog whose body is stiff and they're fixated on another dog or a person. And that's sort of an intensity. It's an intensity. That that's a great word for it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, so Floyd is pretty good with the leash. <laughs> Right? Yeah. He is. He's good. He really is. He's really a character. Yeah. And Floyd's yes. available, he right? Is. We're well, looking for a very specific home for this sweet dog. He has so much energy. <laughs> he's boy. good with kids. He's good with dogs, but he can jump fences. Oh, he, well, he's, he's an, got such long legs. He's an athlete. He he's Floyd. Very, he's very high energy. He's young. He Did we mention how old family. Floyd is? About two. He's, he's two, two years old. old. Okay. Okay. So, so he's going to need a lot of activities. Someone who's got energy. A home that's high energy and really high fences. <laughs> yeah. right. um, what's oh happening with the um, romp and rally, this, this pet walk that's happening on May 6th? This is our annual fundraiser. It's our 34th annual Friends wow. of Haas fundraiser. Yeah, they've been doing this a long time for us. Um, the Friends of Haas are a volunteer organization or group within our organization Ooh. that um, it does the fundraising for us. And this particular event is a way for people and their pets okay. to come together and have fun activities together. Practice your leash introductions. Oh, yeah. Right. That kind of thing. Right. And this is one of those events where you are going to be bringing your dogs on a leash, six or eight foot leashes, please, no flexi leads. Yes. Um, and no, yeah. the whole idea is to have a good time to raise money for the pets at Haas. Is it a walk or is it just in a park? It, we have it at Sussex Village Park okay. and they have trails, so we do a trail challenge, okay. but then we also do lure coursing and then we have fun games. Um, there's some pets and people games. There's the best kisser contest. Oh my. Um, there's a Whoa. treat stacking you contest, try? which can yeah, get really, uh, really uh, oh boy. difficult for the dogs when they see all the treats starting to get piled up and they would like to dive into those. Oh, and the yeah. idea is don't dive into them. So <laughs> lots of activities for both pets and their people. Okay, that we're um, going to talk about the event in just one second, but real quick, how are the rabbits? <laughs> At Haas. Rabbits are great. The okay, rabbits did are you, great. Did, were a lot adopted Everybody. because of Easter? 
Um, we didn't have a lot adopted because of Easter. Fortunately, we had a lot of people asking questions yes. about good. whether or not it was good to adopt for Easter. Good, because so. that's the key. A lot of people exactly. don't know what's involved with having a rabbit because rabbits are awesome, but you have to know <laughs> what you're getting into. And I like that right. you're having this event and that you're helping people kind of understand introductions mm -hmm. as it relates to dogs. So thank you both so much. Exactly. Here's the information first for the 34th. That's amazing. Yeah. Annual yeah. Romp and Rally Pet Walk. It's happening yeah. at Sussex Village Park, May 6th from 10 until 3. Haas has a beautiful location in Waukesha on Northview Road. Um, call them at 262-542-8851 about Floyd, or you can go to HaasPets.org to see all the wonderful <laughs> animals they have available and looking for a loving and permanent home. Thanks, Thanks. you guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks, it. Floyd.